from a faith perspective, I look at the Sisters of St. Joseph that were founded in the 17th century with a mission of love of God and neighbor without distinction. And so this is an absolute clear living out of being able to say, this is loving the neighbor without distinction. It's first of all, because I am a sister of St. Joseph, and this is part of our foundation from the 17th century, that our way of living it out, um, or at least mine personally, is that my conscience moves me to say this is a justice issue. People of the same faith persuasion can, from their own conscience, come to different conclusions beginning at the same base. So we can all look at the Bible, we could look at the example of Jesus, and from, from our own depth of conscience, we could come to different conclusions. From my Old Testament studies, um, what, what is written as, you know, this is an abomination. People pick out of that, it is truly there, but so is, it's an abomination to plant two kinds of seed in the same field, it's an abomination to blend fabric, you know, so there's lots of things that we have moved away from now, and yet some people hold on to one piece of that. So I can say um, that intellectually, spiritually, from my heart, you know, that this is where my conscience leads. But I can't expect that everybody is going to see it that way. My great hope is that the nuns that went to Rome from the leadership conference wanted to speak to the people, want to keep the dialogue open. So um, I, I trust that there will be a possibility of doing that, that in faith, in prayer, in love, that we can come to respect each other for our different views and yet um, and some of those different views move to voting.